Hello, my crafty friends. Um, I got my envelope from Mark Muir, who's my swap partner this month for the uh, Flockers Feathered Friendship Journal page swap. And um, this is the envelope he sent it in. I added the copper over our addresses, but I want you to see how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Greens and blues, my favorite colors. Um, I'm excited. It's been several months. I can't remember if it was September or October the last time I was able to do one of these swaps. So I'm really excited to be able to put another page in my in my book. Alrighty. We'll put that right up there. This is um, black paper. I think he said it was chalkbook paper. He private messaged me and told me that that was chalkbook, chalkboard paper. And here's a, it says a quick hello. Love your handwriting, Mark. Oh, isn't that cute? I love Eeyore. <laughs> oh, I'll have to read that later. That's cool. Well, let's see. Oh, he collects Eeyore. That's something to keep in mind, folks. If you find some Eeyore things, you know who to send them to. Send them to Mark Muir. All right. I was going to make sure if there was anything else that, that I needed to know to make this page. but So that's very important. And here's a... Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? I thought it was pretty on the back. <laughs> Oh, love these. What They make cute little tags. We may have to make some tags out of these to go on the page. Very cute. And he's got it all hidden away in this black paper here. Which is, oh, some more, um, some more of those. Look at there. Cute. I love that paper. Ooh, look at that one. That's pretty. Lots of color in that one. And here's some more steampunky stuff. I like I like the contrast of this gears and stuff with these gears. Very cool. Very cool. It's going to be hard to figure out what to use in my page. And here's some purple kind of crepe paper. I've never seen it in sheets like this. That's neat. Hmm, interesting. And here's some... <laughs> some zebra print. <laughs> now, this is much better zebra print than that um, scrapbook paper I had, Mark. <laughs> and that's pretty, too. That's real pretty. And it's flocked. It's kind of, it's glittery. Cool, cool. Oh, and here's some trims. And the tab. Actually, it looks like there might be more than one here. Ah, okay. Hmm, we'll have to use those too. And a key. Look at that. I love that. I think you and I like some of the same stuff, Mark. I love those too. And a tag. And glittery envelope. This is going to be fun. And here's a... A big doily that's been like jelly printed on or something. And a little one. Okay, very cool. I'm going to pause the video for a second and just kind of think a little bit. Because um, when I open the stuff, you know, I, I don't know where I'm going to. Um, I think I'm going to go right here. How about that? Okay, maybe I won't pause. Maybe I'll just dive in. Let's just dive in. There's so much cool stuff. Eeyore is going to have to be a main element on the page because he's just too cute. And we're going to make make some tags out of these. Not sure what we're going to do with that chalkboard paper. It may not make it into the page. Okay. I think I'm going to put this one in there. 
um, like this, and that will pretty much cover up the part of the page that's blank. So we'll start with that. We will start with that. Okay. I need a, something to, well, I guess I can just put the glue on right here because it's going to be glued right into this book. And I'm going to start, let's make sure that's a really sharp, okay. I love the black with all these metallic-y things. right there. I'm going to bring it over here. I want that to tuck in really good there so it won't mess up. Yeah, I was looking for some glue sticks because I'm about out of, I've got like two glue sticks, this one and one more that are like halfway there. <laughs> and then I was completely out of glue sticks. And I, um, I got lucky and found um, at Dollar Tree, and I didn't realize how lucky I was. I mean, I knew I was usually not seeing these except around the, um, except around the school, beginning of the school year. But they had these packages of the eight glue sticks. And um, normally they just have four glue sticks. So I got double my money's worth. Um, and I got three of those. That was all they had at that Dollar Tree. Um, and then I went to several other Dollar Trees because I was looking for some for someone else. And I couldn't find any more of them. <laughs> so... Um, So I got her a bunch of the fours. Okay. I like that. See? We started off really fast here. Normally I, I don't start off that quick. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to decide if I want to Let me think about that a little bit more. I like the idea of this chalkboard paper, and I may do it like a tip in and put, um, I think this is the chalkboard side, and I've got a chalk pencil that I may write on that side and put it inside and then put some other decoration on the outside and have it, oh, it won't quite work there. Um, I was going to hoping to put it right there so it would look like it was part of this but it's just a little bit well I can cut off some of it good grief Lisa I can cut off some of it all right let's just do that I'm gonna make decisions on the fly here today I think I'm gonna cut off um about two inches worth. Then I'll save this to do something else with. I don't know what, but um, it may go on the back of one of those tags. We'll have to see. Okay. Now, I think I want the chalkboard side inside. And I'm trying to think. What I want to, I could put some washi tape, um, or I could cut up some of this. And no, it's too stiff. It needs to be what? It needs to be tape. Too stiff. That may go on here. I don't know, but it's too stiff for to be the thing that tapes it down. 
So I'm going to find, see what black and white or black kinds of washi tape I've got. Okay. <laughs> I've got this little zebra print print washi tape, so we're we're gonna use that. And I'm gonna see how much I need here. And then I'm gonna run some run it over the glue stick. I want to kind of center this on that well I put glue on it but it wasn't enough glue <laughs> let's do that again because that was not enough glue so like all that did was make the um, the stick them that was on there go away instead of making it stickier. Okay, come back. I had my finger it's just not sticking okay let's do another one on this side Okay, let's do some more. I'm thinking about the fact that I'm kind of covering up a little bit of this chalkboard um, when I do that, but that's okay. Mm, that's pretty. I'm going to wait though because I don't want to. to put this right on here but good grief this washi tape's really either my glue's not good I bought this craft bond because I can't find my Elmer's Extreme anymore I have looked everywhere I guess I'm going to have to go to Amazon and get some because I can't find any anywhere in town not at Hobby Lobby, not at Michael's not at Joann's, not at Walmart not at Target. And that was the best glue stick. <laughs> okay. I think I am going to put this right on here. I'm going to use a different kind of glue just in case. Okay. Tell it's been a while since I got to play with it. Well. 
know why I'm having so much trouble with this. Wow. That's not good. Okay. I hope it's going to do better because I don't want to have to buy another tip. Okay. I'm going to put this down right here. And make sure that, yeah, okay. Make sure I'm not hindering the opening. And he had a tag already made, you know, the beginnings of one to go in there, which is great. And I think I want to put some of this on it. Yes, I think I do. Okay. Yeah, I'll cut it a little long. I'll have to cut it off once I get it glued down. But I like that. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and do this just because I can go... I don't have to goop up in between. I can only get on the actual places I want to glue. Okay. <laughs> Put glue on the very bottom, which is going to be sticking off. I wasn't thinking. Oops. Add a little bit right there. Came off on my finger. Didn't stay on the doily. Mm, that's pretty. That's pretty just like that. Okay. Let's pick my scissors up off the floor. Okay. Now I want to put one of these on top of it. I think I love him. I think I love him. never tried to fussy cut chipboard before but I'm gonna see what I can do here
me go over here and that way it'll be easier. <laughs> See, one thing about this, you change your mind as you go along. Because when I first saw this, I was going to make tags out of it. And now I'm cut, fussy cutting it and putting it on a tag. So you got to be able to um, go where it leads you instead of deciding something at the beginning and um, refusing to budge from it. And now I see that this is too wide for my tag. But it will fit in the pocket anyway. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm just going to glue it on like that. I think I'm going to curve this though. Because I don't think he's that square. Okay. Got stuff on my fingers. And we're going we're gonna to glue him right there. I think he's very cute. Okay. I love this art glitter glue because it it glues almost anything. I use it on fabric, I use it on paper, on chipboard. Um, it's really, really good glue. Yeah, I think I may cut these words out and put them on here too. Let's cut them out and see. Um, let's round that, round that a little bit. Little friend, it says. Okay, obviously that's not going to work. I'm not sure that it's going to work. Um, if I take it into two pieces, but I, there's no way to know for sure until I do it. So, live dangerously, Lisa. called my um, local Sherwin-Williams today because they had told me six or seven months ago um, both stores that they would be retiring wallpaper books in January so if you've got a Sherwin-Williams close to you and you want some wallpaper sample books this is a good month to call and talk to them um, and one place said yes she had a few and the other place said um, that the manager didn't like them or some, I didn't understand what he was saying, but he said, come on by and you can probably get some, but, <laughs> but it sounded like that their manager, the manager of that store didn't like to even use them. So I'm not sure if that's what he was saying. I don't know. I may have to just go with friend instead of little friend because little is not fitting on there. Yeah, I think friend is good. We're just going to go with friend. Well, I really like little friend. I think that's sweet because it is a little, a little guy. Well, I could have, uh, let's do it this way. Since we've got tail sticking off down here, we can have friend sticking off over here. I think I'm going to do that. See, there's always a way. 
There's always a way to make it work. Ooh, too much glue. Okay, and we got little all the way on there, I think, so. Oops. Got my bluey finger on it. that cute I like that tag I like that let me clean my fingers off and while I think about what to put through the um, thing um let me see if I can find, I've got some yarn that's kind of these colors that would be good. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. But I have these three kinds of yarn. And I'm going to take a little bit of each one. And that's what we're going to make our... Um, and if we do more tags, I'll probably use the same things on the other ones. So that it's all wound up together. So, when did you do this? Okay, let's just cut that right there. Oops, that and this. And some of this. Don't want them to all be exactly the same length because it's more fun if they're not. And I'm going to just twist this so I can get it to go through the tag. There we go. So there's my tag. Cute, cute tag. Having fun, Mark. Having fun. I hope you had as much fun. I think I'm going to have to use this glue on this. This is not, not sticking. Did it even get any? Okay. All right. I don't want to put the tag in it just yet because I want it to dry good before I do that. So I'm going to set it up here. 
And I'm going to move these out of the way until I need them again. Okay. Now I really like this. And I think that would be fun behind one of these. Let's just go ahead and cut this one. Let me see if I can round the corners here. I don't know if this will work on, on this or not. Oh, okay. I just got this. They had all their stuff, and I know I wasn't going to buy anything, but I really needed a corner rounder. <laughs> that worked out well. Okay. Got this at Hobby Lobby because the one I have is... Uh, more frustrating than it is helpful. It's kind of crooked, isn't it? Well, I'm kind of crooked. We'll just leave it like that. Okay. Let's tear some of this out to go behind it. I'm going to have a cut edge. I like to have torn edges too, so I don't like everything to be samey samey. Which is something I'm learning because um, I'm so used to making things samey samey that I have to kind of work at not doing that. Okay, I just realized this is way off the page. I think I want to cover the coat, um, edge this. That's the word I'm looking for. I want to edge this. <laughs> Let me see if I can find a big black Sharpie that I can use. That's copper. It'd be pretty, but it won't show up as good as black. Okay, here's a big one. <laughs> We'll get this done quick here. Oh no! Oh no! I just messed it up. That makes me sad. <clears throat> have to do something there <laughs> to cover that up. I hate making boo-boos. Okay, we're going to do something. <clears throat> what can we put there? Well, I got to think here. We could stick one of these on there maybe. No, because it needs to turn. That's not going to work. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to cut a tiny little heart out of here and stick it on there. See if we can cover it up that way. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay. See, there's always a way. <laughs> always a way to fix it. I don't care if this goes down really, really, you know, all the way to the edge and perfect. I don't mind it sticking up a little bit. So we're just going to um, if I can grab it here. There we go. Tuck it down like that. And then I'm going to do the 
same with this. Anyway, I was saying earlier about wallpaper sample books. Um, I'm going to go tomorrow and pick up a few. I have no idea what they're going to look like. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. You don't know what you're going to get till you get there. I think I'm going to put him right there. And I'm going to put some glue on the back of this little heart. Cover up our boo boo. Now I'll have to outline that little heart in black too because it doesn't really show up. It just looks like there's a little something there. <laughs> So let's find a little Sharpie and hope I do a better job this time. There we go. I kind of like that. I'm almost happy I made a boo-boo. <laughs> Sometimes fixing your mistakes it, it just makes things better. Okay. And save that. There's lots of good doily there left. Okay. I like these. Does these need to go in there? Maybe. I'm thinking maybe one of them needs to go right there or right here. We got a heart up there, we can balance that out. I think this one. I love these metallic looking stickers. They're plastic, they're not metallic, but they really look like metal. I love them. Okay. What else do I want? I want, need to put some of this. Oh, I need a tab that because that's cute. We're going to stick it. I'm going to have to put some glue. <laughs> oh, I need to write on it, whatever I'm going to write before I do that. I'm just going to write Mark's name on it so I can't forget. And this is the January of 2019. Let's let that dry a minute before I put it on because I don't want to mess it up. Now I want to put this on there somewhere because that'll help me remember how much he likes Eeyore. And I want to be able to open it and look at what's inside so I think I need to tip it in maybe I want to do something on the back though maybe put some doily on the back that kind of shows through the doily though Let's see if we put some of this bigger one. Nope, you can see that too. No, maybe it's okay for it to show through. Let's just say it's okay for that to show through. And we could just put it... Um, like this so that it 
most of it's on there and it would just a little bit of it would be well I need to leave room for the washi tape though because I'd rather not cover this up okay mm. oh this would be pretty on there though that would be real pretty I could put another one of those cute little animals um, on here okay let's just do that okay see you just got to go with it I hope you like what I'm doing Mark I'm assuming these are all things you like or you wouldn't have sent them so I hope my combining of them is pleasing to you. It's pleasing to me. Let's put it right down here at the bottom. I should have cut some of it off and put some of that zebra print on there. I wasn't even thinking. See, sometimes just going ahead and doing it, your first fun instinct is not the right thing to do. Let's see if we can put some of this, make it real obvious that it's a zebra print. Right there. We may come just come down and cover up a little bit of that. Okay, now we'll need to do it this way. trying to make it straight as I can. I'm not very good at straight. <laughs> I'm going to put a mark here and a mark there. And marks there so we can cut it off. <clears throat> Let me get out the paper cutter. We've got, we've got quite a bit left we can do something else with. Let's put this just like that. Okay. We're going to put this just like that. That's cute like that. I like it. Okay, now then I need to find a way to attach it here that will go with that. I have an idea. That washi tape didn't make me happy. It was be wasn't behaving, so I'm going to try something different.
I have a couple of little mini duct tapes. I think this one will look good on this side, and then this one will look good on this side. So that's what I'm going to do. It's kind of hard to get it to stay put. So we'll just put it on here, and then we'll transfer it over there. And some of that was not sticky anymore, so let's get rid of that. I'm just going to cut it because that little cutter thing doesn't work too terrifically. Okay. I didn't go didn't go all the way up like I wanted to. So I'm gonna cut off another little piece and put it up there. Okay. That'll go good. Get it to stick down real good. Now let's measure some of this. on my page funny guess because of how much the card weighs so that means I need to put something heavy up here I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on over here though You're the only one that's gonna have that has a tab so far. <laughs> I'll be able to turn right to your page very easily. I like it. I may have to get some tabs and go back and tab all the other ones. I've got a, a few here. See, there's one, two, three, four. I could use for. I think I'm gonna stick them right here. And so for the next four months, I can put tabs on. <laughs> Everybody else's pages are going to have tabs thanks to Mark. Or at least the next four people that I switch with. Okay. I like this bit of lace, too. I think I like it right there. Oh, I like that very much. <coughs> okay. I wonder if a glue stick will stick that down. It's really lightweight. Wet glue will take a long time to dry because I can't, um, I can't get it just, you know, only on the lace. So we'll see. If this doesn't work, we can always do it over.
I think that's going to work. Oh, you can't see the lace very good, can you? See, doesn't that look pretty on there? Trim off the... There we go. I think I'm going to put this other heart right up here. And that'll kind of balance out the page. I like having elements that, you know, on the whole page that look like they go together. Okay. Now I want to do something in here. I wish I was an artist and I could draw something cute in there. A picture of Mark or some potatoes, maybe. <laughs> hmm. What do I want to put in there? Okay, let's go ahead and put this in here. Uh-oh. Bunch of yarn. Just fell down because it was on top of the other yarn I pulled out earlier. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So now it looks like that the um, the little raccoon is a little friend of the owl. <laughs> I like those two together. That was a good idea. Okay. If I do say so myself, it was a good idea. <laughs> want to use some of this but I really like that and I don't want to mess it up I love that paper and I think thinking I might fussy cut this little fox out and put it on here and then I've got some white chalk somewhere I could outline it in which would help me remember that this is chalkboard paper so let's just do that you see that cute little fox right there I'm just going to cut it out first and then fussy cut around it I want to use as much of the stuff he sent me as I can, but I really don't like overcrowding my pages, so um, so I'm not going to put everything on there just to get everything on there. Okay. <coughs> All right, let's 
since I'm not sure how this will take to a glue stick, I'm going to use this even for this. Normally I would just use a glue stick, but I don't want to take any chances of it being persnickety and not wanting stuff to glue down onto it. I'm going to put him up here. Okay, now I don't like having a little fox just sitting there in the midnight air, <laughs> so we're going to have to put some ground underneath him. That looks like a pretty place for him to sit, so let's do this. Let's see if we can figure out how to make this. Let's put him on top of it because he's sitting on it. We may need to put it even up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, please don't tear. Okay. Let's glue this down real quick. Now we glue him back down. There we go. like that. Now let's cut this off. That one's going to have to be torn. I can't get there to cut it. Let me find my chalk pencil. And let's outline him a little bit with this. Whoops. Okay, that makes him show up better. 
Okay, now then I'm going to write a famous Mark quote. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? Where are the potatoes? I don't know if I spelled that right or not. Do you put an E on potato or not? You know, it's a big controversy. I don't know. I put an E on it. Where are the potatoes? Okay. Now that my glue is up, I can look at it and see if there's anything else I want to do. Oh. You know, I really like it just like that. And um, I'll do something else fun with these other pretty papers, Mark. Actually, I'm going to stick these little critters inside these papers. It'll be easier for me to keep them safe. Do something else fun with those. And I don't... That might be cute. See, there's just always, always one more thing you can do. Okay. I need fabric scissors or something. What I've got there is not working. Okay. That's somewhere under here. I really do have some fabric scissors. There we go. Okay. Well, I'm trying to get it to cut it at an angle, and it's not wanting to do that. And I want to put some glue on here to... act kind of like fray check. I've got some fray check somewhere. If I wasn't lazy, I'd go find it, but this will work, I think, just fine. Okay. Now I'm going to put some of this glue down. Come on. Don't be on me. Okay, I'm going to put this down. Just like that. And add a little bit more glue right here. Let it just kind of soak in. I'm going to go ahead and put some right there. get a piece of plastic to stick under that piece of paper. I'm going to let this just dry right there and then I'll come back and cut it off later. Okay. I love it, Mark. I hope you like it too. God bless you. Bye-bye. I hope you're still here. <laughs> I, um, 
I was putting stuff away and I found this beautiful key and I want to put it on here. So I'm, I think I'm going to just put it right here so it is really shown off. I toyed with putting it up here because this, you know, there's not a lot up here, but I just think it looks like it belongs right there. I think it does. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to get some gel medium to put that on with because it's going to need to be on there really sturdy. Um, well, oh, there. once again, I lost my pen. I, it's no small wonder this glue's always messed up. Okay, gel medium. Okay. This is a matte gel medium. So I'm hoping it's what it says it is. I'm hoping it really is. I haven't used it in a long time, so it's kind of gumpy on top. I'm going to need to use it up. Thanks for giving me the excuse, Mark. Just put some right there. I know that looks like a lot. I hope it doesn't look ugly when I'm finished. Okay. Now I'm just going to let that dry. <clears throat> I really need to get this out of here and put it in something else because this is gooping up on top. Okay. Now I'm through. <laughs> God bless you. Have a great night. Bye-bye.